Hello everyone, welcome to my shop. In this video, I'm going to be installing a fire extinguisher in my Mark 7 Golf R. Doing this for two reasons. One, this car does see some track use, so it is good to have a fire extinguisher in the car. And two, it never hurts to have a fire extinguisher in the car. Uh, this is going to be mounted on the on my passenger side, right side of the car, in front of the seat. Uh, I'm going to be using an Element 50 fire extinguisher. Uh, these things are basically like a, they function like a, like a road flare, uh, but they're super compact, really lightweight, and this one's supposed to extinguish for up to 50 seconds. So it should be able to should be enough to put out most small fires if you catch them quickly. Uh, I'm going to be using a bracketeer mount, which mounts to the seat frame. Um, this one is the one specifically for the element. It comes with a couple additional brackets. Uh, we'll get this set up. We'll basically do most of the assembly on a bench, and then I'll show you how to put it in the car. Mm. The bracketeer kit for the Element setup comes with pretty much everything you need, including Allen wrenches. Um, this is a pretty simple install. You do need some blue Loctite, uh, and having an alcohol prep pad is kind of beneficial. Um, first thing we're going to do is actually clean two of the brackets to prep for installing a couple of uh, pieces of foam tape. On these brackets here, you need to clean the inside here. I'm just going to make sure that there's no oil or grease in there so that the sticky adhesive will, will fit or will stick. If you were installing this on a different vehicle, you may not need to use these, but on the Mark 7 Golf and Golf R, you will. Um, while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and continue to prep. Uh, I've already done some pre-fit up. I know that I need to install the socket head cap screws in these two outer holes on both brackets. I'm going to start by applying a dab of blue Loctite to the socket head cap screw and go ahead and get it started in the first bolt hole. I'll do the same thing on the next one. Same thing on the other side. As I said, we are going for the inner two most mounting holes on both brackets. You need to be able to get this about as wide as it'll go to fit on our on the golf cart on the golf and similar cars. I'm just going to hand snug these up. I still need to be able to move these when we get them over to the car. Now that the alcohol has had some time to evaporate, we're going to go ahead and install these foam pads at the top on the inside here, just to kind of give it some padding and some additional grip. And do that on the other side as well. The next step, we've got these two set screws. Uh, they need to be installed into threaded holes on either side of the bracket here. Once again, they do want you to put a little bit of blue Loctite on these. You don't want to thread these in very far yet, just so that they're just past the inside of the bracket. Make sure that the Allen head side is out so that you can tighten it later. Next, we're going to go ahead and assemble the brackets that actually clip the element on to these two adjustable brackets. These are going to get mounted in this orientation and we're going to put a dab of blue Loctite on these screws as well just to make sure that they don't come loose over time. Once these are snug down, these you can actually tighten. You do need them to be pretty much as close to in line with these brackets as possible. These are only M5s, so um, don't have to crank them too too tight otherwise you do risk stripping out the bracket because it's pretty thin but you do want them good and tight for my application and where i normally have my passenger seat sitting i'm going to be using the third hole in on the outer set of holes on this bracket a little bit of blue loctite so i'm going to the third hole on the outer hole on the inner bracket here once you have both of these snugged up, you can actually go ahead, insert your element fire extinguisher into the brackets just to make sure that the, everything is square, and then go ahead and tighten these down. Once again, these are only M5s, you don't have to go crazy. Now that we've moved over to the car, I've removed the element just so I can have it out of the way. Where we're going to be hooking this, we're going to be hooking this bracket on the inside of, of this part of the seat mount. And on this side, we're going to be mounting it once again on the inside of this seat mount. You may have to pull this up, uh, your seat adjuster, up a little bit temporarily to get this into place and to tighten the set screw over here. Uh, but once we go ahead and get this into place, I'll kind of go over the tightening process. 
I'm going to first do the inner bracket. Um, when you do this, uh, I've got it maybe a quarter inch back from the end of the track here. So I'm going to, I'm going to be pushing down with one hand while tightening in the set screw with the other. This is going to take some time. I'm not going to film the whole thing, but I'm going to go ahead, tighten this in until it's really snugly clamped against here. You do want these two bolts pretty snug at this point so that the bracket stays flat. Um, I'm going to go ahead, tighten this one up, and then we'll work on the other side. On the outer bracket, it's much the same thing. Um, the one thing I will note, there is a fastening bolt right here, um, back where my finger's at. I do have the bracket on the inside of that, that bolt. Um, once again, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I push down and tighten this in. I did switch to a ball end Allen key because that does make it easier. As you do tighten this in, this is plastic, so you are going to bear into it. You will ultimately damage the plastic. No one's ever going to see it. Not even the slightest bit of my concern, but if you care, uh, this may not be the best way for you to install. Once you've got both the set screws and the side checked, you can kind of pull and move, try and move the bracket until it is pretty darn sturdy. Um, the last step is going to be to tighten these four Allen keys on the Allen or socket head cap screws on the outside once again. Um, tighten these up pretty good and tight, but it is going into a pretty thin bracket, so you only need to go so tight. The last step after I've moved the seat back into normal position is to simply install the element fire extinguisher. As I said, installs in pretty good. This is nice and sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Once again, the benefit of this element is that it is so light, so I don't have to worry about this thing going anywhere. Um, Every once in a while, you may double check these fasteners just to make sure they aren't going anywhere. Um, I do notice that there is a slight interference on this set screw, maybe even the bracket on the plastic on the seat here. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Fortunately, the seat doesn't typically go much for, further forward than this. Um, if you did have the seat move a lot further forward, um, you might have to either file or do something with the plastic down here just to make sure that it clears, but as of right now, I'm not too worried about it. And that's it for the install. Uh, super easy install. They even include all the tools you need. Once again, all you need is some blue Loctite. Very, very simple. Um, made my car safer every day and makes it safer on the track, so it's a good, good simple upgrade. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, please like and subscribe and keep checking in. I'll be doing a lot more videos over the winter.